Hello, I'm Gina Harris and welcome to today's Soul Food and Grace Moment. Today's message is on the end of the prophet's prayer, which is in um, Habakkuk. It's actually Habakkuk 3.19. I'm going to say just a little portion of it. The Sovereign Lord is my strength. He makes my feet like the feet of a deer. He enables me to tread on the heights. So yesterday we learned the overview of Habakkuk and we are going to continue on with talking about prayer and I hope to inspire each of you, especially if you don't pray regularly, to begin a daily prayer. And don't worry about praying the quote unquote wrong way um, because I remember I used to have a lot of fear with that like, oh my gosh, I don't pray like I hear other people praying. And honestly, there's no such thing as the right way or wrong way. And always remember this, God knows your heart and it'll get easier with time as you find your own style. I always just uh, tell people, you know, come to God with how you are and who you are because he already knows you and talk to him like you would having a conversation with your friend. Um, That's how he wants you to come to him. Um, You know, he wants to have that intimate relationship with you. I would love to inspire everyone or challenge everyone who listens to these daily messages to pray every single day for our nation, for our world, our neighbors, and our children. When we come together in prayer, we can make such a difference. And every morning I'm up with the Lord praying, um, you know, for my loved ones, but specifically with our world. Um, Yeah, so I would love that. And please comment below wherever you found this message. I would love to hear, um, you know, your your prayer and if you would um, be joining me as well. So it was yesterday we talked about, um, you know, not always having a full understanding of what is going on around us and sometimes even in our own lives, right? Especially if we are in com- some kind of suffering for a period of time, it's hard for our humanness um to understand it all right recently i was talking to a loved one who was really struggling with understanding why people who don't even follow god are prospering while um you know he is just barely getting by and so i want to you know bring forward the book of habakkuk um, to give us some comfort through these times as it affirms that our god is sovereign who has all things under control, even if we can't see it or understand it. And we just need to be still and know He is at work and believe in that all He is and who He says He is and His promises. And we need to stay in prayer as Habakkuk did and focus on today's verse. God, thank you for today and this platform for sharing your message. God, we just lift the struggles of the world today. We ask that our brothers and sisters who are feeling and experiencing the pain and the suffering from the things that are happening around in our world, God, may you restore peace in their hearts. I pray for that peace for my brothers and sisters. And may you surround them with people that will also help support their strength, their understanding, and their perseverance to get through it, Father God. And may we all continue to come together hand in hand, even if we don't believe the same. May there be peace in the hearts of your followers. May we gather more broken and lost people to find you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. And you guys, place your hands over your heart as we claim this power statement today. Today, I am at peace. One more time. Today, I am at peace. You guys have a blessed day. I love you so much. And we'll see you again tomorrow.